In this video, we're going to investigate the inverse function of cosh x, so y equals r cosh x. So, let's consider what it looks like. So, first of all, let's draw some axes. And I'm going to draw on y equals x. So something like that. Now, the thing about um, y equals cosh of x is that it looks like this. Okay, so let's uh, let's try drawing it. Okay, so here's y equals cosh of x. Well, that's one. Now the problem is this, y equals cosh of x is uh, many to one, it's not a one to one function. So what we need to do is restrict the domain of cosh x in order to be able to define the inverse function. So the obvious thing to do would be to just look at x is greater than or equal to zero. So we're going to cut it in half. And we're just going to have this. Okay. So that the inverse function must be the mirror image of that, which must look something like this. Okay. So when we look at the domain and range, of the inverse function. Well, the domain must be from 1 onwards. So x is such that x belongs to the real numbers. x is greater than or equal to 1. And the range, well, the range allows for any real value as long as it's greater than or equal to 0. So y is such that y belongs to the real numbers, y is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so this is what our cosh x looks like, and this is its domain and range.